Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be giving my review on the G Pro X Super Lite 2. Now I've had this mouse for about two weeks now and if I'm going to be honest not a whole lot has changed from my first impressions video because again it's only been two weeks. However I have noticed an issue that is not on my Death Editor version 3 which is double clicking and you wouldn't expect that to happen because the these use optical switches and while yes, it normally just doesn't double click like normally when you just like press it once, when it actuates two times at once, it registers as a double click. And I would think this wouldn't be the case because Logitech and other big brands use something called Eager Debounce, which basically tries to eliminate double clicking altogether. However, it still does. So I'm not sure if they're using like a different kind of Eager, de eager Debounce, but at least the one that they're using right now isn't great because as I've said, like, if I click it like this, for example, you can hear that it registers the click two times. And that registers as an actual double click, unlike my Razer Death Editor version 3, where it doesn't. So yeah, that is a problem for me because especially after getting it into Geometry Dash, like 2.2 just came out, it really sucks that this double clicks and, you know, again, it stinks that it does that. And not only that, just the scroll wheel, which I also mentioned in my first impressions video, is still a little bit like weird feeling. You can kind of hear that. It really just kind of feels like it's hitting up against something. I don't know. It just feels kind of rough or it feels like it's just like, you know, kind of like, it's hard to explain, but it feels like it's like kind of hitching. It has that same problem that the X and 1R did. However, it is kind of worse. But uh, it's not like the biggest deal in the world, as I said in my first impressions video. However, it still sucks. And this is a decent feeling scroll wheel, but nowhere at the same level as like even my Death Adder version 3, where I felt like that was too light. At least it doesn't have this kind of like weird hitching problem where it feels like it's like hitting up against something or it just feels kind of rough in general. Like it, it does. My Death Adder version 3 doesn't have that feeling, although it is lighter than this scroll wheel. However, one thing I will say is that the left click, uh, especially after using it for two weeks, as I've said, is a lot lighter now, and I do really like these clicks still. These are still some of my favorite, if not my favorite clicks, uh, especially opticals on any mouse, even better than the Razer Death Adder, which is a pretty high bar because the Death Adder switches are great and were easily in my favorite optical switches up to this point. However, these have surpassed it, especially after, again, I've used it for longer and they've just loosened up more. They really just feel great and they're very tactile while still being very, very light. I will, however, say that because I use the left click so much in Geometry Dash especially, uh, the right click is now a decent bit heavier than the left. So now I have to get that loosened up, uh, but I, I don't really have a whole lot of games that use the right click anyway. So I guess there's that. However, I'll go over everything else that I basically went over in the first impressions, and it's basically going to be the same thing. These side buttons are still pretty mushy. They don't have a ton of travel, which is good, so they're not, like, terrible. They're not the worst side buttons, like, ever. They don't, they don't feel like they're, like, going to break or something, like some, like, very, very cheap mice. However, they are very, very mushy, especially in comparison to my Death Out of Version 3, as I said. And I know I'm comparing this mouse a lot to the Death Out of Version 3, but that's because it's from another big brand, and... You know, Razer is a huge competitor to Logitech, so that's the reason why. And uh, yeah, the Death Editor version 3 side buttons just feel way better to me. And uh, they don't have a lot of travel as well. So yeah, they just beat these in general. And definitely the Death Editor version 3 skates are like way better than these skates. Because these skates are very chalky, very scratchy, and not great. They especially like, you can hear it compared to my death adder right here yeah it's not great <laughs> so yeah i still really dislike those skates and uh yeah it's really annoying however one thing i will say that's like really beats the death adder here that logitech is amazing at is battery the battery life is insane on this and it is pretty fast charging as well so yeah i really love the battery life on this that's a big reason why i really like this mouse a lot it's because of that battery life. It's great. The Death Adder had really good battery life, but nowhere near this level. And it's just great. And even the, you know, the 2K Hertz mode, which I don't really use a whole lot. 
Uh, it, it's not like terrible. Halves your battery life, of course, you would expect that because it uses twice the information as 1K Hertz, but it's not terrible. Even at 2K Hertz, it's not like the worst battery life ever. However, I recommend using 1K Hertz except for like when you're specifically in like one game because Logitech G Hub is like a lot better than the Synapse as well, which is another big point for Logitech. Synapse is just, ugh, it's just not amazing. It's fine for what it is, but it's just feels like it's bloating up your entire system. Logitech, on the other end, is pretty good, in my opinion. And also, there's, like, for certain games, you can assign, like, specific settings, which is what I did for CS2. So now when I open up CS2, boom, I can use 2K Hertz on CS2 only, and then when I close, it goes back to 1K Hertz. I really like that. And I know I said I don't really get 2K Hertz. However, if I'm, like, using it for, like, a game only, and I'm not just, like, permanently turning it on... I don't see a huge problem with it, and it just increases that performance just a little bit, which is cool, and that I prefer. So, yeah, I would rather just have better performance than not, and I know I said again that 2K Hertz is not necessary, and it's kind of pointless on a line of mice, and, I, and 4K Hertz especially, because it really drains the battery life, and I still agree with that if it's on permanently. Like, if you have to toggle it between 1K Hertz and 4K Hertz, like, all the time, it's really tedious and annoying. However, with some software, it makes sense because it just increases performance. It's not like extremely noticeable, uh, but still it increases performance. And while it does decrease battery life, you can always just change it back to 1K Hertz if you want. It's not that hard, especially when it's just easily assignable in software. So if you don't want 2K Hertz for like a specific game, you could just turn that off and then it'll just keep the regular settings. I know I've just been yapping a bunch, but it, I mean... Yeah, uh, this is just a pretty good mouse. Uh, the shape is also really, really good for me. It's a very simple shape, but it's a shape that I really like. I really like these like very flat sides. I just prefer mice that have very, very flat sides over the like ones that kind of like curve inwards because it feels like the back. The problem with mice that curve inwards to me is that, especially on the left side, it feels like this part, like that part of my uh, thumb where like interconnects with my actual hand it feels like that's like hitting up against something and it just feels uncomfortable that's the problem i had with the death out of original Ray because that kind of like caved inwards a little bit and it because it was so big and chunky it felt a little bit uncomfortable so i really like the shape as i said but again the scroll wheel the double clicking and the side buttons aren't great but and the skates especially the skates but uh Rather than that, it's pretty good. And again, the clicks really, really are really, really good. So that's going to be about it for my review. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.